Hi. In this video, we'll use Burp to manipulate WebSocket handshakes. A WebSocket handshake is a HTTP message that establishes a WebSocket connection. You can often access additional attack surface by manipulating these messages. We'll demonstrate how you can clone, modify, and resend WebSocket handshakes in Burp Repeater. If you'd like to follow along, you can use the lab Manipulating WebSocket Messages to Exploit Vulnerabilities from our Web Security Academy. Once the lab has launched, browse around the target application to map the attack surface. Now, switch to the Proxy WebSockets History tab. This tab displays a table of any WebSocket messages Burp's browser has exchanged with the target host. Right-click on one of the messages and select Send to Repeater. We can now switch to the Repeater tab and see that Burp has opened a new WebSockets tab. Click on the Edit icon to view a list of WebSocket connections that have been used in your current Burp session. Select the connection you want to base your new connection on and click Clone. If required, amend the host, port and use HTTPS settings. Then, in the Request panel, you can now amend the message. There are a wide range of exploits you could perform here depending on the application's logic and how it uses WebSockets. For example, you could add an X forwarded for header to spoof your IP address, enabling you to get around restrictions on your actual IP. Click Connect to create the modified connection. Click on the Edit icon to view the list of all WebSocket connections. Select the new connection from the list and click Attach. Repeater will now use the new connection for all messages sent from the Open tab.